Well, welcome back, folks, to Black Swan Graphene's a channel at the forefront of graphene development with flake, bulk, and single-layer graphene to discuss Simon, the Chief Executive Officer. So first and foremost, welcome, sir. Well, thank you very much for having me. And a pleasure to Pleasure to get you on. So first and foremost, I kind of want to break down the company a little bit. You guys have 16 international patents and products already in use with commercial applications like concrete. For newer investors, can you kind of give us the brief elevator pitch to the company? Uh, sure. Um, I think it's important first to explain uh, the basics of uh, what graphene is. Uh, graphene is a, is a new material. It was discovered uh, you know, a few years ago. Uh, it's been called uh, a wonder material uh, for, for many reasons. Uh, but very basically, uh, graphene is a derivative from graphite. Uh, so it is simply uh, graphite that's been exfoliated to the extreme. When we look at graphite powder, uh, one single flake will be hundreds of thousands of layers of graphene. So if you exfoliate that to the extreme, uh, then that uh, that becomes uh, that becomes graphene. Uh, so if you're thinking of a phone book, for example, uh, one flake of graphite being a phone book, then one single page would be technically one layer uh, of graphene. Uh, so that that is really the the basic. But then graphene. Um, uh, becomes an additive uh, into into many things, um, and uh, the main uh, markets that we're going uh, after with Black Swan because graphene is a wonderful thing and it's going to do a lot of uh, very uh, different things and it will create, I believe, a lot of a, a lot of uh, very successful companies. Uh, but what we're after uh, with Black Swan are the uh, industries that are volume driven that can really uh, use a large quantity of, uh, of graphene. Uh, and the, the two key markets we're going after uh, are concrete, um, which is a massive, massive opportunity. Uh, concrete is the second most used material on earth after water. Uh, so it's hard to imagine a bigger uh, opportunity. And the, the second um, uh, key market is polymer. Uh, it's a complete game changer for polymers where you can make polymer or any plastics uh, a lot stronger. So those, those key market, uh, th th those um, two markets uh, are big opportunities. Now coming to Black Swan itself. So Black Swan itself was created uh, just a couple of years ago, um, but uh, the technology was uh, developed uh, over more than 10 years now uh, at the Thomas Swan and Co. Limited uh, in, in Northern England. Uh, Thomas Swan uh, is a mid-tier chemical company. Uh, it's been in business for more than uh, more than a hundred years now. Uh, it's um, it's uh, fourth generation leadership with Mr. Harry Swan as the CEO, um, and they developed the company. And then we teamed up uh, to create uh, Black Swan in order to be able to accelerate uh, the path uh, to commercialization, so that. That's where, the, that's where the name is, right? So Black Swan is uh, somewhat um, a, a spin out uh, of, uh, of Thomas Swan with the technology. Um, so we're going after concrete and polymer. Um, and just uh, this morning, actually, we came out with uh, a transformative uh, news uh, for Black Swan. Uh, one thing I've learned being involved in battery materials for, uh, for quite some time, uh, which is also a small industry that need that needed to become a big industry really really quickly. The secret to make that happen is supply chain integration, uh, and and that is really what we were able to put together, uh, and we announced uh, this morning for the concrete uh, side of things. So what we announced this morning is uh, an alliance uh, partnership with Nationwide Engineering uh, in the United Kingdom, uh, and also with uh, Arrow, uh, which is. Uh, a, um, a construction and engineering firm and, and a very large one. So um, we can source uh, the, the, the graphite to make graphene uh, from Quebec, where there's a, a globally uh, emerging uh, you know, uh, graphite industry in Quebec, notably with Nouveau Monde graphite, which is very well known. Um, Black Swan can take the graphite, turn it into graphene, now, Nationwide Engineering, or what we call the NERD, um, has the technology to inject uh, graphene into concrete. And then what Arup is, Arup is a very large um, construction and engineering firm, which um, has the know-how and expertise on how to use 
uh, this uh, graphene and hence concrete into building and, and infrastructure. And uh, Arup is, is very, very large, therefore has a lot of um, reach and distribution. Uh, they are famous for having built the Opera House in Sydney. Uh, closer to where we are, uh, they were behind uh, the Champlain Bridge in Montreal. That is a very well-known infrastructure project. They're behind uh, the, the longest bridge being built in China, which I believe is uh, 55 kilometers or something like that. It'll be the world's uh, longest bridge. Um, and the Singapore airport, which is famous now. So, so you know, they have a lot of reach. Uh, so we have, through these partnerships now, established uh, a, um, a fully integrated supply chain, uh, which gives the industry a turnkey solution. And, and the concrete industry really need to move towards such a solution. Uh, not only you need a lot less concrete by doing this, so so obviously you reduce your costs, less labor, you can reduce, if not eliminate completely, uh, your needs of uh, our requirements to use rebar, which obviously lowers your cost again, but mainly by you know lowering the use of cement and the volume of concrete, you help uh, reducing the CO2 emissions. Because the the um, the um, uh, concrete industry globally is responsible for about eight percent of of global CO two emissions, and this presents a turnkey solution to not only save costs but reduce CO two emissions by approximately thirty percent. So we're talking about uh, massive impact uh, on on the uh, on the carbon footprint. So that's what we put together recently on on the concrete side of things, and then. Uh, the next objective is to replicate this supply chain integration for, for the polymer industry. Yeah, and I just want to point out, when you're talking about the polymer strength, I actually watched a couple of your videos. It's almost 200x. Like, you're not talking about, like, like mild strength increases. I mean, you're, like, two-folding the ability of just the structure of, of the polymer themselves, right? Yeah, that's correct. So, it, so for polymers, it is a complete game changer for the polymer industry. Not only you can, well, it, you know, it's always a trade-off. Either you'll make a, a product uh, a lot stronger, a lot better, or you'll use less polymer for the same performance, and therefore you'll reduce your your uh, your costs, right? So it depends really on the application, but it opens up, uh, you know, very different things. And and uh, for example, you can achieve strength that like you're referring to that will now compete with uh, with metal parts. So if you think about the transportation industry and um, you know the electrification of transportation, well, either you're going to make a better battery to increase your range, or you're going to make your car lighter or your truck lighter. So by you know um, replacing metal parts with plastic parts that are a lot lighter, obviously that helps a lot. But there is a lot of uh, other um, uh, you know uh, positives, uh, and and it opens up a whole bunch of uh, possibilities for for the uh, for the polymer industry. Yeah, when we come back, we're going to discuss that a little farther, but I wouldn't mind breaking down a bit of your team as well. He was kind of helping you captain the ship and kind of formulating uh, some of these products. Yeah, so we have a pretty extensive uh, team in place, um, but uh, I'll I'll mention from from uh, the basics of the company, the, the chairman is Harry Swan himself from the CEO of Thomas Swan. So Thomas Swan remains uh, a, very, a very large shareholder. Uh, as we speak, they own about 16% uh, of Black Swan. Uh, and I would say the other uh, very uh, critical person that we have uh, within the company is Mr. Michael Edwards, uh, our COO, Chief Operating Officer. Michael Edwards was the head of the Advanced uh, Material uh, Division of Thomas Swan, where this technology was uh, you know, uh, developed in advance over the last uh, 10 years. Uh, so when we put Black Swan together, he joined uh, Black Swan uh, on, on a full-time basis. But we also have a very large team of other scientists. We also work closely uh, with the GEEK, as we call it, which is the Graphene Engineering Innovation Center uh, in, in, in Manchester, which is really the mecca of graphene now. Um, so we're, we're very well uh, established with, with the right people. And our team is growing as well. We've been picking up uh, quite a bit of talent in recent months. Definitely appreciate those insights. And just to kind of finish up, I mean, you yourself, 25 years of experience in the capital markets, you've been involved with precious metals and kind of graphite companies uh, basically since 2012. Kind of what led up to that aha moment for you getting involved uh, with Black Swan? Uh, well, yeah, so I've been involved in mining for uh, for, for a long time.
longer than I would like to admit. Um, uh, I've been involved in battery materials. You know, we launched me and my my partners launched Arena Minerals, for example, which has been acquired recently by uh, Lithium America. Uh, we have put together a few uh, precious metal companies, um, including uh, Royal Fox Gold, which I was the CEO, who's been uh, acquired by Northern Superior as well, which I'm still at the helm of. Um, and in 2012, we uh, started uh, Mason Graphite. Um, just you know, foreseeing the um, EV revolution, right? So our our uh, basic our, our interest was really in 2012 based on the upcoming the, the upcoming demand for anode material, which is made of graphite. But through that, um, at the same time, in the same year, graphene that got discovered uh, around the same time, and uh, you know, when you go from a, um, a big discovery like that to commercial applications. Uh, there is, you know, a 10 to 15 years period, but that's where we are now. Uh, so, so the graphene market is, is now taking off, but the interest also is from the graphite industry in Quebec, like I said, which is emerging rapidly, uh, driven by Nouveau Mont Graphite. We see the graphene market as, as an end market uh, for graphite, where the Quebec industry and, and, and Nouveau Mont can really move tonnage uh, into that market. Well, I appreciate these insights. Uh, I think at this point, I'll pass the question off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think about this in that comment section below. Consider subscribing because as news comes down the wire, we're going to continue to update you here. But on that note, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.